Assemble is a task you run from the command line using dot slash gradlew assemble in Linux and Mac or gradlew assemble in Windows. To fully understand assemble, you need to know about the two different types of Gradle tasks, actionable and lifecycle. Assemble is a lifecycle task with no actions attached. Lifecycle tasks often combine other tasks and are useful to run in your development workflow. The purpose of assemble is to combine all tasks which produce a distribution or artifact into a single task. For Maven users out there, assemble is similar to Maven package. Assemble is added into your Gradle project by the base plugin, which registers standard tasks to ensure consistency. The base plugin is applied automatically by Java and other plugins, so don't be surprised if you haven't heard of it. With the base plugin applied, when we run the tasks task, we see that assemble is in the build tasks group. At this point, assemble doesn't do anything. It's up to other plugins or you as a build author to configure assemble to depend on the relevant artifact producing tasks. One example of how this works is the Java plugin, which adds the jar task to package compiled classes and resources into a jar file. It also configures assemble to depend on jar. So in a Java project, when we run assemble, jar runs first, generating a jar file. The Spring Boot plugin also sets up task dependencies from assemble to its own tasks. When we apply the plugin and run assemble, Gradle runs boot jar first to generate the special Spring Boot fat jar file. If you have other tasks that generate artifacts, you can hook them into the assemble task by configuring a task dependency. So what ways can we run assemble? You've seen the simplest of just passing the task name, but you can also use an abbreviated name of A, saving you six precious keystrokes. And yes, if your mind works like mine, if you really want to, you can do this too. In IntelliJ IDEA, the assemble task is in the Gradle tool window under build. Double click it to run. Assemble also gets run when you run the build task because of a task dependency added by the base plugin. Gradle runs assemble then check the verification task, which I'll link a similar video to at the end. When you run assemble when nothing's changed in your project, it's marked as up to date and no work should be done, saving lots of time. That leaves the question then, when should you use assemble? Well, anytime you need to build your application's artifacts without running any verification tasks. That might be if you want to test out code changes in the generated jar file, but aren't concerned at the moment about running additional checks. Of course, you can also run assemble by running the build task, but that also runs tests which you might not want. Running assemble instead of build can be quicker. Assemble is a superset of all artifact producing tasks and includes jar, which generates your application's jar file. If jar is the only artifact producing task in your project, then assemble and jar are equivalent. But it might be a good idea to start using assemble now in case you add any other artifact producing tasks in the future. To learn more about the fundamentals of building Java applications with Gradle, why not check out my free course, Get Going with Gradle. That's it for the Assemble Task Essentials. This is Tom, signing off.